I just wanted you to know that the St. Paul's Presbyterian Church is noted for its good music because of Sarah Louise McNeil. And Sarah Louise McNeil is my next door neighbor. We share a driveway and she and her husband Lewis welcomed me to St. Paul's as their new minister with open arms and warm hearts. And I quickly came to learn when I met Sarah Britt and she took me out to lunch that Sarah Louise McNeil is the organist of St. Paul's Presbyterian Church. We call her the organist emeritus. And Sarah Britt has followed in her footsteps, but she told me from the get-go that Sarah Louise McNeil is number one. And the one that she follows after, and the two of them work together. I really appreciate all that they do. And I couldn't do what I do in St. Paul's if I didn't have Sarah Louise to lean on because she is so knowledgeable and so talented. As directors and organists and piano players. So I am so grateful for the team that they are and have been for this church. Sarah Louise is very humble. Music has been a blessing to me all my life. That's, just, that's it but her husband, Lewis, is very, very proud of her. She knows how to tickle the keys, any kind of music. And when she graduated, she and her husband moved to St. Paul's and she became the organist at our church and was the organist for 50 some odd years. She taught practically every other child in St. Paul's that wanted music, uh, their music lessons. And of course, none of her other students were as accomplished as her daughter. She taught me piano from the kitchen most of the time, <laughs> cooking, in the ki cooking in the kitchen and washing dishes and all. I used to think that was not fair because she would just holler to tell me what was right and what was wrong. However, <laughs> then I realized I was getting special treatment every night and I tried to teach all four of them music. I'm John, and this is my brother David. I'm David, this is my brother John. <laughs> my name is Martha. I am Louis and Sarah Louise's second daughter. They have the talent, we don't. Right. Musical talent, at least. Unfortunately, I did not get the talent that they did, but I'm glad that they have it and have shared it with the community over the years. Grew up with music. I always was the one that had to play for music things at school because I could play. I never liked that, but I always got out of class, so that was all right. And she soon became quite an accomplished pianist, but she never really took up the organ. But her mother was very pleased with Anne's piano accomplishments. I loved the performance today. I was grateful we had a lot of people come. And I loved the interplay of Sarah Louise and her daughter Anne. Anne, I don't know as well, but she clearly walks in her mother's footsteps and was radiant with the opportunity to play with her mother and to display those talents. Some people said when they walked in, how are we going to have piano duets? There need to be two pianos. They never imagined that these two could sit down at one piano and cross arms back and forth and up and down the keyboard, totally synchronized, totally beautiful. And they have for years loved to do piano duets and piano and organ duets. And they have treated us many times with that music. Many people have come from far and wide today to, to see this this performance, which is a sacred and secular performance, but as her daughter Martha said, the sanctuary was full of the Holy Spirit. And all the songs were beautiful, but there was one that was especially beautiful to me because I was playing it at my house when Sarah Louise heard it, and that is something beautiful. That's the name of the song. At every concert she's had, she's played something beautiful. So, and that speaks well for Sarah Louise and Anne, something beautiful. Something beautiful I love, and also my dad's sister, Edith, that's her favorite song, so that was real special. Alleluia, I think, is real special for everybody, but the times that we have done that, Bill Moore, who is now deceased, but was quite an important person in my life and in this church, 
that was his song. He loved Hallelujah. So for a lot of these songs that we did, it, there was special meaning for a lot of different people. And the music today was out of this world, and I didn't lose it when she did it as well with my soul, because Jerry was listening to it right then. Not that her sermons are not fantastic and very moving, but many preachers through the years, their sermons just didn't quite reach me. The music songs through scripture and just that has been very good for me and sometimes when you have big problems the what you need to do is go sit and play the songs then or just play hymns my husband says when i get peeved with him if i go in and play the piano for a few minutes i'm just fine when i come out <laughs> <laughs> I want to call Sarah Louise McNeil a living treasure. My husband and I used to work as missionaries in South Korea, and they had these old-fashioned folk villages where they had people that were they called living treasures who had talents and gifts that may not ever come back to this church because if you look at the schools and the colleges and the seminaries, there's not a lot of organists coming out these days, but we have one of the best. And I want to remember her, I want to document her life, because it's not just her talent, it's her personality. She helps me in the morning, in Sunday school, opening exercises to sing songs. We can pick a song out of any hymn book from anywhere, and she can play it, whether she's seen it or not. It's extraordinary. She has a little trouble hearing nowadays, and that's frustrating to her. She has a little bit of arthritis in her fingers, but you would never know it because she just transforms the keys of the organ and the piano. I feel grateful to know her, grateful to count her a friend. I guess that's about it. Music has been my life for as long as I can remember. Um, really special. You make music when you're happy, when you're sad, when whatever, and it works. And today during our concert, I almost started crying several times because you could feel the Holy Spirit here with us and I had to say, no, I can't do this. I have to listen and focus so everybody else could feel his spirit. So that's what music means to me and I thank this lady right here for doing it. They are super, just super. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Yes, they did very well together. It was great to be here and see it. We love Sarah and all of her family. And I love them very much. And that's all I can say because I'm going to cry otherwise. I can't imagine being without music. Um, it's a blessing every Sunday to come to church and hear the sacred music.